What is up peeps? It's your favorite Bulgarian back at it again and I'm just here in my backyard It's really windy and cold outside, but I just had like an idea that I wanted to share And so I was like hey, I'm gonna go outside in my backyard and just do a video I have my sunglasses because the sun is shining and you know Yeah, so what I want to talk about today is um, Putting your core values and belief systems above all so what that means is when you are uh, interacting with someone or you're going to do someone a favor or let's say that you're eating healthy yeah? and your friend is like oh man you know have this steak that I cooked for you or you know have this burger that I cooked for you what would be the polite thing to do is of course accept you know the person put time and effort he had he or she has good intentions towards you you know she or she put good time and effort into cooking that burger or steak but if your values or if you're striving to eat more healthy eating that burger doesn't really intertwine with your core values of eating healthy so you have to do what reject the burger and be like you know thanks for making it me man but you know i'm trying to be all healthy i have my own regime i have my own diet plan that i'm like trying to stick to so you know no thank you or maybe the steak. Most people think that steaks are healthy and they can be made healthy, but if it's cooked in a lot of olive oil or butter or even, uh, most people don't know this, but if the steak is well done, it's not that healthy. It needs to be medium rare, you know, it needs to have that pinkish thing on the steak so it has like its full benefits to it. Um, I actually came up, uh, actually this idea of like, whole like um, appreciating and staying to your core values came to me because I'm like a natural people pleaser so I have a hard time saying no to people uh, recently you know it's like 2018 now 3rd of January um, I told myself that for one month I would be like spot-on perfect with my diet with my self-development with my social skills etc etc and so on so when I went to my friends for New Year's Eve to celebrate, he actually cooked me dinner. Yeah, he cooked me dinner, but he's Greek and how he cooks is he puts a lot of olive oil, a lot of butter, even on the salad he puts a lot of oil, so everything is cooked with a lot of oil. And essentially it doesn't intertwine with my core values or my uh, goal to eat healthy. But me, being a natural people pleaser, I fall into his frame and, you know, in order to please him and not to be rude, I ate what he cooked and, you know, it was quite tasty but it wasn't the most healthy thing. To even like further build on that, uh, in this past couple of uh, like week and a half, I met this girl from my gym and, you know, my core values like right now, you know, my goal is to read a lot of books study for university, better myself, etc, etc. And I found that in order to so on please her because she keeps texting me, texting me a lot, I keep replying back immediately, thinking that, you know, if I don't reply in like an hour when I finish the thing that I'm doing, she will get upset, she will like hate me or, you know, she won't be pleased to say. So what I ended up doing in a couple of occasions is just like staying on my phone and texting for hours and an end which doesn't quite do much because if you like really really want to bond with a person it's not the texting that does, that does like all the thing it's like the face to face communication like the face to face interaction so ultimately you should only text people when you're like setting up a meetup but don't take this dogmatically if you want to like text someone you haven't seen in a long time just to see how they're doing you can you know do that but if you have something important to do and someone thanks you don't like just leave everything and you know reply the text that's being like reactive yeah and you should try to be more proactive building on this like reactive and proactive thing I've also like, incorporated this one thing that I learned uh, from a video that I watched on YouTube I don't really remember what the video was about but a guy gave an advice that goes like this for one hour after waking up, he doesn't check his phone. He's not replying to messages. He's not, let's say, that watching videos. He's not checking his notifications. And he's only like trying to be proactive. And building up on that, 
my morning routine has become quite good in my opinion it could be better but for now it's something like this I wake up and <laughs> I've actually put like wake up on my morning routine because I have a hard time waking up from time to time and I wake up I brush my teeth freshen up etc uh, I try to drink a lot of water when I wake up so it gets my whole like digestive system going on um, I maybe do a couple of stretches maybe do a bow hashtag alien health bioenergetics if you don't know what the bow is it basically is like stretching back and uh, breathing it kind of looks maybe weird on camera but check it out Elliot explains it like in depth it's really cool so I maybe do that and then I pick up a book I read for let's say that half an hour and then I try to meditate for 10-15 minutes and that's what I do every morning I give myself one hour before I start my day and I do all those things and at the end I plan the important things that I have to do let's say that for today the important things are go to the gym study for university read a book eat all my meals uh, meditate etc continuing on the whole core beliefs and core systems is don't be an asshole you know don't always think for yourself compromise from time to time for people but ask yourself is this person going to appreciate that I have compromised my beliefs that I have compromised my core values in order to maybe like strengthen the bond and it should really go both ways you know let's say that you eat the hamburger that your friend has made for you but then he comes to the gym with you or he goes to talk to girls with you or you know he eats the healthy meal that you cooked for him it can be anything really but it needs to go like really both ways because what tends to happen in some relationship is that it's only one ways you know one person puts all in the effort and the other one is just like meh you know when you start reading books and when you start like developing yourself you have the feel of what you should do now you know I kind of feel uh, it's something like an inner voice or like inner guidance I can't actually explain it but you know what you should do yeah and you know when you're fucking up and you know when you're not like living up to your standards or you know when you're like putting too much pressure on yourself and etc and etc so continuing to build on the topic that I'm like talking about and I want to like make uh, last points and like uh, last things ask yourself everything that you do yeah or maybe not everything don't do, don't put like too much pressure on yourself but really like ask yourself is this thing that I'm doing right now or is this thing that is being asked from me you know from my friends and etc or from my family even correlate and intertwine with my beliefs and my goals and is this really going to help me you know is it a win-win situation where if I compromise and if the other person compromise we like meet in the middle ground or does the other person only want you to do the all the hard work you know like only you compromise only you like um, forget your values for a little bit so you know both of you can have a good time whereas the other person is just like laid back but don't while I'm saying this as I said before don't be an asshole don't expect everyone to uh, follow your core values or core your core beliefs and goals because they have their own way of life they have their own goals and beliefs you know so ultimately you should find people that you have the same goals same values same belief systems so you can have an easier time together let's say that you have a friend that smokes and eats shit and drinks on the weekends and etc and you're very good friends yeah but being around that person if he has a stronger friend than you you know if he's like uh, keeping um, how can I say keeping faithful to his way of life more than you you're eventually going to start tilting and being accustomed to him and maybe you know you start with one cigarette or one drink or with one hamburger but the more time you spend with that person the harder it's going to be for you to keep your habits and to keep your beliefs and to keep at your goals so to make it easy for you you should distance yourself from these from that kind of people and surround yourself with the people that are going to make it easy for you so 
if you, if you want to be healthy and if you surround yourself with quote unquote health freaks they're going to push you to become more healthy they're going to critique you they're going to like um, how can I say it make you feel bad when you eat a hamburger which is maybe an asshole move to do but every time that you eat a hamburger you're like oh man what the fuck? you know you should keep at your regime keep it healthy blah 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 don't do this don't do that and eventually it will put you on the right path yeah so yeah that's kind of like what I had to say it all come like so random but I'm uh, happy that I shared this with you guys let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with some things that I like said um, you know you, you do not have to like believe me dogmatically I'm just sharing thoughts sharing my experiences basically I'm gonna sign off now I'm gonna go and uh, finish my book by Robert Green Master I have five ten pages left and maybe I'll do a book review on that we'll see but it was a pleasure talking to you it was a pleasure talking in front of the camera I'm getting more and more used to it and yeah man basically have a good day and peace